Good evening everybody, my name is Conrad Wilson and welcome back to part 4 of my third person uh, platformer Unity demo system. Um, I've just been adding on to the system again and again and um, today I've added quite quite some simple features but just some camera upgrades. Um, I've got multiple camera modes now, two modes in fact, one an uh, a, a upgraded version of what I had before and one north, south, east, west locking method. Um, let's just go straight in and show you what I mean. Uh, first of all, here's the camera as you know it. Um, it's, it's, it's nice and smooth, you can move left and right. Um, but what I've added is collision, because last time it would go straight through this wall, but now it scales very nicely to the position of the wall and uh you can you can move and stuff and it will it, just be like yeah okay there's a wall there but uh now i guess i'll just move the camera closer then simple as that um and uh yeah uh, i added that to the main camera and that is a lovely little benefit um but now to swap between camera modes uh i chose this to be the r key in the keyboard uh, and as soon as you press it it will lock to the closest north south south east west uh bearing um, and in this mode, I can move my mouse however I like, and I'm not moving the camera at all. The only way to pan around the character is by using the Q and E keys. Now I chose these buttons uh, to work with controller as well, because on controller I've mapped this to the um, right analog stick, if you move left and right, um, in this mode. Um, but uh, there, uh, you can, you can, yeah, you can go left, right, and it will spin around the camera uh, in 90 degree um, segments uh, or sections um, in ang angles. Um, and uh, of course, when I press R, it will be back to normal. Uh, and when I press um, R again, it will lock me to the closest uh, bearing that is 90 degrees off from the player. Um, yeah, so very simple stuff. Um, Let's have a look at the code, I guess. Uh, straight in. Um, there's a lot more here than there was before, but a lot of that is just multiple checks. Uh, first of all, here is in my update function, I've got this check for if I want to switch my cameras. Uh, right now I only have two modes, um, so basically if it's one or the other, it will swap accordingly. Uh, but if we want to go into the um, north, south, east, west, um, what do I call it? Yeah, the soft lock mode. Uh, if you if you want to go into that mode, it will just grab the direction of the player, and then it will test that direction against um, the the closest um, north, south, east, or west um, angles, and it will it will get it will get the closest one each time. It will update which is the closest if it finds a new closer one. And uh, once it gets the closest, uh, it finds out the angle to rotate, and uh, just simply rotates the offset by that angle, um, and that's it. That's that's how I lock to the the, the right position when I switch to the mode. Other than that, I had to break up the update, uh, the fixed update function a bit, uh, depending on the mode. Um, here's the regular mode, um, as normal as it was before, but this time with an extra check for if we are detecting camera collision. Um, now, as you can see down here, it is a little bit of code, but it, you know, it looks a bit bulky. Um, but all it really is is getting the characters, um, mi the position in the middle of the body, um, right there, um, and then getting the direction of that player uh, to the offset, um, and then getting a max distance to check within for collision. Then it casts a ray to see if it hits anything within that range. I also have it only check on layers that I want, so I've actually excluded particle effects and collision boxes um, so that the camera just moves straight through those. Uh, but yeah, if there's a collision detected, then all we do is get the position, uh, get the direction, uh, add some padding, and uh, set the, the offset to that. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, and then we rotate the camera like normal, and we smooth the camera like normal, just like before. Whereas, 
in the north, south, east, west, soft lock uh, camera mode, we have a system to check that you are just holding down the Q, E, left or right analog stick uh, buttons or joysticks so it doesn't continuously spin um, just uh, using some balls. But if that's all fine and you want to go left or right, then it will rotate you 90 degrees either way. Here's for the keyboard, here's for the controller. And then smooth up as well to update the camera. Uh, but even more smooth, so I have a separate variable for that, um, which is down there. And uh, then make it face the camera, all the same as before. And that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, uh, I did a quick uh, addition um, to the player movement, which was fixing a bug, which I did mention in my blog post uh, last episode, uh, if you check that out, but I didn't actually talk about it in the video. Um, I actually had a, a small bug with that fix, uh, so, <laughs> so I fixed that as well. Uh, what happens is basically way before um, the l last update video, the one before that, so parts one and two, I had an issue where if I jumped into a wall, I would get friction and would just not fall down the wall if I kept trying to run into it. I would I would be able to hold my position in the wall. Now, I rub straight down. And um, that was what I fixed last time. What I, I used uh, a method of um, increasing and decreasing friction um, of the rigid body of the player. Um, so if I was in midair, I would have no friction, so I would fall down things. If I was on the ground, I would have friction, so I could move around and be affected uh, that way. Uh, but this led to an issue, whereas if I was on the ground and then tried to jump, which is completely fine now, I'd still have friction, so I'd rub against the wall and still have the issue. So to fix that as it is now, I added an extra collision detection radius that goes from the head down uh, to a certain uh, number that automatically sizes, depending on like the, the size you key in, um, which is just uh, doo -doo 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 here, um, the wall check, height percentage, and the radius. Um, so yeah, it's checking the upper half of the body uh, right now, um, I think. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, if there's something there, if it's colliding with something, uh, then it will be like, oh, okay, well, you won't have friction just before you jump, so it'll be fine when you jump. And uh, that's what I've done for this week. So uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you stick along for more videos, because I've got a couple more, uh, uh, well, quite a few more, um, videos to go to show off more things I've done. Uh, so I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.